Okay, so we just got some more possible news about the Persona roadmap from Midori. Midori, of course, seems to have become the go-to source for upcoming Persona rumors or leaks. So I figured I'd give some of my thoughts about it and possibly what it could mean. I hope you enjoy it. I'll leave a link to their profile in the description if you want to check it out. So for the first post, Midori comes right out and says that the next Persona game won't come out until 2025 or 2026. The reason being that it's a larger scale than Persona 5, and Persona 3 Reload is a way to test the waters with it. Which is something that I think seems plausible. Given that Persona 3 Reload seems to be using the same engine that Persona 5 uses, maybe Atlas is testing how far they can push it and possible ways they can improve upon it? Then using some of the reception to see what works and what doesn't work for Persona 6. It may also be disappointing to hear that it may be a couple more years until the next mainline Persona game, and I'm right there with you. However, Persona 3 Reload may be able to tide people over until the next mainline release, especially since it might be just as long or longer to complete than the original Persona 3 story. But at least there's some idea of when Persona 6 is going to come out, even if it's only a sliver of hope. It makes me wonder how much the pandemic messed with and slowed down Atlas's plans for Persona, assuming they were working on Persona 5 Tactica and or Persona 3 Reload for the 25th anniversary. Okay, so Midori goes on to say that since 2026 is going to be Persona's 30th year anniversary, it's going to be extra special. So in order to celebrate it, not only is Persona 6 being developed for release by then, but also a Persona game codenamed ASA or ASA, that involves the main cast of every Persona game up to Persona 5. If that's the case, that's huge news. It'd be like the Persona Q games dialed up to 20 with the amount of crossovers happening at that point. If you include story expansions and spin-off games, that adds a decent amount of extra characters to the cast of Persona 3 through 5. And this game might be a teaser of sorts for possible remakes of Persona 1 and the Persona 2 duology, by introducing new characters to those games and their cast of characters. Since many people may not have played those games because of the gameplay, or, which is considered outdated by today's standard. So if this upcoming game includes the cast of the first three Persona games, and means that they'll get more appreciation, I'm all for it. The next couple posts Midori talks about Persona 5X, the gacha game, being close to a finalized release in China and is coming to Japan soon, as well as the partnership between Sega slash Atlas and Microsoft being a fairly happy one. Maybe going forward some older Persona games like the PlayStation Portable versions of Personas 1 and both 2s might release on Microsoft platforms or possibly Nintendo platforms, or even Persona 6 and other games dual releasing on both PlayStation and Xbox. Times are changing and some game series are expanding past console slash brand exclusivity and this is a big sign of it. Persona has become proof of that, especially considering that the mainline games have been exclusive for a while, or technically retroactively timed exclusives, since Persona 3 Portable, Persona 4 Golden, and Persona 5 Royal recently re-released on Switch and Xbox. But Persona 3 Reload was revealed at a Microsoft showcase and most of the gameplay trailers have displayed a HUD with buttons correlating to an Xbox controller. So maybe previously released Persona games that were only exclusive on Sony systems might be re-released on other systems within the time frame between Persona 3 Reload and the possible release date of Persona 6. But aside from that, I'm actually excited to try out Persona 5X and see what it has to offer. Especially since it seems like a new way to experience the world of Persona 5 with its catchy jazz music and cast of characters on the phone. But I guess we'll have to see. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks as always for checking out GPX Japan, and we'll see you in the next one.